What's up people, this is just going to be a quick and dirty tutorial on how to get picture and picture to work on the new iMovie for iOS. And I'm going to do it with my iPhone, I'm recording it with my iPad, usually I do video with this iPhone and I've got a tripod and everything else. See, it's right here. But uh, yeah, so I'm just doing this because I was already working on it. Anywho, so we'll go into iMovie. And I'll flip it around so that it's a little more visually pleasing, <laughs> I guess. And let's see if we can get this iPad 2 camera to do a decent job with this. All right, so what we're going to do is first get out of there because that's something that I tried to do before and it didn't work. <clears throat> uh huh. We'll add a project here. New project. We want a movie. Oh, yeah, simple. That's good. New movie. Create movie doesn't want to recognize my fingers. All right, so we're going to insert media here. Maybe, sheesh. Video, and this is a video I was working on for this channel, which, uh, let's see, let's make this one the main one. So we'll put that video in there. And what I thought you might be able to do is just drag one video clip over the other and it would automatically stick it in there. But I think because of the picture in picture feature is actually a bit more uh, fully featured, <laughs> it's slightly more complicated to do it. So here's how it works. You push this button again to add media, pick the video that you want to overlay or put in it, and I'll pick this one. Now you push that once, and then you get this these options. Now the new iMovie allows you to choose just the audio from a video clip, so if you want to do that, that's what that button's for. That's a preview to let you just kind of watch it before you pick something. Uh, and then here is, I'm not sure what you call this. I think basically what this does is it switches to this video for a while while the other one's still playing so that the time passes, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, the point of this video is this: these two. If you push this one, I'll show you quickly. Come on. What it does is, just puts them side by side like that. And that's not bad. I mean, I can I can live with that. That could be useful for a number of different things. Or if you double click on that, it gives you some options. And that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, I'm still <laughs> a noob at this myself. What I want to do is get rid of it completely. So we'll trash it. The reason I'm having issues is because I've been doing it in portrait. Right. So one more time, we'll add that same one here and this is the button for picture in picture and now it has it so it's kinda in the way right I mean that's pretty awesome that it even does that because I've been wanting iMovie to do this for the longest time for iOS and for five bucks it's amazing uh, you double tap here and then if you push this button it's not really a button I guess but anyway you can move it around and you can also resize the frame so let's say I want it that big and I want to put it up in this corner here. Sometimes when I was working with it earlier, there was a bit of a bug where the outline would get stuck in one place, but the, the video would go to another place. And all you have to do then is just redrag it until that goes away. But if you don't, then it might appear in your video. Not really sure. So then I've got it in a nice little spot and that allows me to show this kind of unboxing video while playing Mario Kart. So it's slightly less boring, I guess. <laughs> and I'm doing all of that. I use the phone as the video camera, iPhone as the video camera. Uh, it's full HD, and now I've got this feature as well. Really awesome update uh, to iMovie. But yeah, I looked online and I couldn't find a tutorial on how to do that. So now you know. And then if you double tap there, nothing happens. But if you double tap here, this other one allows you to actually zoom on the video itself. Right? So if I want to kind of small right now so we'll switch to this other one make it big for a second okay now it's really big right so I mean you've got all kinds of options with that but let's say that I want to move the content within the frame I want to zoom in or zoom out on that I can do that as well pretty neato same is true of this right of course now this is in the way <laughs> so let's make it small again Oi. there we go back up there in the corner now double tap that one and I can do the same with this by pushing that and zoomerini 
Okay, and there you go. So I hope that helped you. I just, there wasn't much, there wasn't anything online when I looked, so I figured it out, and there it is. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.